with 24 hours of non-stop news on the television and on the radio, non-stop tweets about Corona, non-stop WhatsApp and social media about Corona. All different media are saturating the atmosphere and the airwaves with fear. Anxiety has gone to the highest level that I have seen in my adult life. There is brain fatigue. Fear has been raised to power million. Panic attack is going on with people of fear of losing their job. People have mental stress. Their mental state is not what God wants it to be. They are completely stressed out. There is a tendency to get sucked into this fear of the unknown. There is a tendency to have apprehension during this because fear is a product of the gates of our head. Our hair gate, what we hear. Our high gate, what we see. And our mind gate, what we meditate upon. That's what's going on now. And that's what the enemy wants to happen. And we become whatever we behold. So it's time for us to meditate on the good things. And that's what Paul says. He says, any of this thing has a good virtue, meditate upon it. Can you say this fear is anything that has any good virtue for us to meditate upon? Because what you meditate upon becomes our reality. That's it. Whatever you meditate upon becomes your reality. If you meditate upon faith, it becomes your reality. If you meditate upon fear, it becomes your reality. And that is the power of meditation. We have to know that nothing happens unless God allows it. That's one thing we have to know. Some people are saying this is the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. And in everything contrary that happens in our life, God allows it for his purpose. You can say, can that be? God allows it for his purpose. For his ultimate purpose. That's why I say we are God's foot soldiers. We've got to respond as God's children. It's the battle of the king of all fear. Just think about the name, crown. Has there ever been a fear like this that has visited the world? This is not only one country. This is the whole world. That's changed. So God has a purpose in this. We might not appreciate it, but one thing I'm sure about, we will know by and by. Let me say this. We cannot appreciate what we have until we lose it. We can't appreciate light unless there is gross darkness. We can't appreciate freedom until we are forced to be at home and be locked up. We can't appreciate health until we are sick. So God has a purpose in all of this. All of a sudden, the things we take for granted, we found out that there are not things we should take for granted. He tells us that man is not in charge of his life. The crisis and challenges makes us to appreciate the normalcy we take for granted daily. We wake up, get into our car, and just go wherever we want. We suddenly find that we can't do that. So I believe we should shift our focus from the news that we are continuously inundated with and focus on God. 